for me, indoor skydiving is one of the most freeing experiences in the world. I don't have to be bound to the ground. It's like being on a roller coaster, but you can design where it goes and like how many flips or loops it does. And I think it's one of the best feelings in the world. So these are my medals from the World Cup here. This is for the Dynamic 4-Way Junior, Dynamic 2-Way Junior. This is for my freestyle. I won three golds at this year's World Cup of Indoor Skydiving. The World Cup is the largest uh, indoor skydiving competition in the world. There will be about over 400 uh, participants for the event. I think uh, for kids like uh, Kai, at a young age, uh, coming into an uh, international competition, it takes a lot of uh, commitment. This means no playtime. They have to juggle their time with studies and also training. It's over many years to, in order to get to their stage. Indo skydiving is a sport in a vertical wind tunnel where you can fly in winds of up to speeds of 270 kilometers per hour and you're wearing a suit that allows you to simulate the feeling of skydiving. How you move around, it's really depending on like how you place your body. In physics, naturally when something has a lot of surface area exposed to the airflow, it catches a lot of the wind and that would just push it up. So like in the belly position with your arms and legs stretched out, you really have a lot of surface area and so you catch a lot of wind. In contrast, when you don't have a lot of um, surface area, you catch less wind and then you start to fall. So like for example, when you go from the belly position to the standing position, you should go back to the net. But being able to hold that position and go up and do tricks like high up, that's really one of the hardest things to do as well. When I was three or four, my dad was invited to Air Class Singapore's anniversary party and I tagged along and I see all these people flying around and it's like really cool and I wanted to try it. But uh, in Singapore, due to the regulations and everything, you have to be seven in order to go indoor skydiving. So I waited many, many years and actually my parents planned a surprise for me to go indoor skydiving on my birthday. And I loved it so much I didn't want to stop. Over six years of indoor skydiving, I've been to nine competitions and I've won eight medals. I think some of Kai's strongest attributes are, where especially in the heat of competition, when he's focused, the grit comes through. I mean, there's something that I can see the, the sparkle in his eye when he's competing. When I'm on the field, I tend to feel nervous and worried that I'm unable to execute my role well. But once I made a great tackle and everyone was cheering for me and the team win, the satisfaction and the excitement grew. That's one thing I love about football. Hi, my name is Irsa and I'm Binti Awan. I'm 15 years old and I'm the youngest player in the women's national football team. The average age uh, of the national team is about 22 years old. At 15, uh, she's really uh, showing tremendous potential. Who knows what will happen in the next couple of years when she develops further and exposed to more international games, tougher opponents. I think the sky is limit for her. She's not afraid to go into any challenges. She has a good left foot as well as a right foot as well. She's good at taking free kick. Yeah, she's a free kick specialist also for her team. My current position is left back and as a left back I have to prevent the opponent from scoring the goal, make great tackles and involve in the team play by making overlapping and underlapping runs. Overlapping runs is like basically when a player cuts in the ball, I have to go overlap, cross the ball in or maybe try to shoot to the goal. My dad was into soccer, but I wasn't really interested in soccer back then. I was a melee dancer. I used to help my friend to coach in a local football academy called Ace Football Academy. At the same time, Salina started to follow me. As the week goes by, I think she gets interested in joining the training that is being conducted there. 
I learned a lot of new skills and techniques. That's where I joined Pinsway for the CCA. Choose the CCA. I play in the Women's Premier League with the club Abrex Nigata Women's Team, and that's where the national team coach scouted me and called me up. I was really nervous when I got the call. We saw Selena uh, play for the club and she was deemed impressive enough uh, for a call-up. So we decided to invite her for uh, the national team uh, selection trial. How the national team selection process works is that we will pull together potential players that we selected from the clubs. We will put these players through a series of matches and watch how they play. And from there, we will then make selection based on their match performance, based on how well they play in these matches. During the tryouts, I was a bit nervous because of my lack of confidence and the intensity was completely different to what I was playing. In Salina's case, during these matches, she's consistent and she's easily one of the best players around there. Good technical ability, tactically positioning, very sound. Because of Salina's outstanding performance during the tryout, she made the cut to be one of the 23 national players to represent us in the upcoming tournament. So we call her to give her the good news. When I found out that I officially made it to the women's national team, I was really happy and glad that all the sacrifices are paid off. But at the same time, I'm nervous because I wasn't um, as strong enough and uh, my physicality, I'm smaller than them. Okay, what do you study in both? Back four, Sarina, you play on the right. Being the youngest in the team, I am disadvantaged because most of the players are more experienced than me and most of my opponents are older than me and stronger than me. But at the same time, to me, I learned that size doesn't matter. As long as I'm able to work hard, I'm able to win. I don't think Salina is a natural talent, but she's much more rather a hard-working girl. To be able to get scholarship to go to international uh, or other countries to studies and play soccer, she has been dreaming about it all the while, uh, ever since she started playing football. Hey guys. <laughs> These are my teammates, Jordan, Kira, Isabel and Vera. I'm going to be doing 2A uh, Open with Jordan in the Australian Open, September 16th to 18th. Yeah. Guys, do you want to stretch now? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure, sure. So most of us compete in two different disciplines, which is freestyle and dynamic. Freestyle is more of an artistic round, so we fly a um, free routine to music, a 90 second routine to music, as well as six different compulsory moves in two different 45 second routines. And it's quite similar to, say, gymnastics or ice skating. Then we also have Dynamic, which is a speed round where you try to go as fast as you can, flying a set of three moves, and you try not to get bust, which are time penalties, because those add like five seconds onto your team's time, and that's really big in a competition. We have to like make sure like all of us are synchronized and doing the moves correctly. We're training every single every day. Every single day for the next two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> at the peak of my training before competitions, I start training at 10 o'clock, and I sometimes I'll end at nine. In between the sessions, I would often be doing my work, and then I would take a break before my next session, then I would plan my flights so I don't waste any time while I'm in the tunnel. I started homeschooling when I was seven. The good thing about homeschooling is that we can do as much or as little as we want. I get instructors who really dive deep into what they're teaching and from all around the world. Mm. I mainly follow the American system, so I'm in grade 8 or the equivalent to secondary 2. I still have to do all of my core subjects, which is like language arts, math, science, social science, and world languages and PE. But because I'm a homeschooler, I can go at my own speed, um, so I've been able to cover all of those basics, and I'm able to go beyond my grade level. We find tutors online, like university students sometimes, or university professors, and we write to them and say, oh, are you interested in teaching? They might do like a one-on-one -on -one with him. 
競争が厳しくなりましたから、なりますから。When he was much younger, I was a lot more hands on, so I had to plan every single thing for him, every class that he does. But now that he's 13 years old, he sort of plans his own classes. He's more of a STEM kid, so he likes to do his math and science.、Um, and so he finds his courses himself, and then he tells me, okay, this is the course I want to do. Why do I want to do this? And then I would check it and just to make sure it's accredited, if it's worth doing, if it's like a good course. I'm really interested in space, so I found this course that teaches astrobiology online. The instructor who teaches the course used to work at NASA training astronauts, and sometimes we get opportunities to attend webinars with really interesting speakers. I've actually been taking this course for three years now. Part of his curriculum also, he does some music theory and some music instruments.、Uh, he chose piano and guitar,、uh, but we don't do gradings. So he doesn't have to feel the pressure of like, oh, I need to practice these pieces and I need to pass the exams. He purely plays because he enjoys it. It's just to help him develop the love of music. Okay, so this week, how many classes do you have? Today I should have two classes. Ah.、Uh-huh. And I think tomorrow I'm okay, but after that I have math. When does it do? To the end of this week. Okay.、Um, so I just need to finish that later. So today I'm going to be doing a ballet class.、Uh, I've been doing ballet for quite a while now, and even though I'm not really fond of doing ballet, I think it's something that's really beneficial for my indoor skydiving、um, because it really helps me with body control, pointing my toes while I'm doing my freestyle routine. Um, and a lot of other things that I think really help me in my freestyle. He's very focused. Sometimes I give him like difficult movement, like combination of the step. He will just keep quiet, even though he's tough, but he will just do it. Up, lift, and turn. Good. And round. Ho 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 ho. Good. After joining four months in the national team, I got injured while playing. Although it was a slight knock, I had to take a week break. From training. Yeah, very pain. Okay. Yeah. It was a tough decision because, like, I had to miss training and I felt unproductive at that week. I was tempered and really wanted to train so badly. Bottom leg on the top. Yeah. Then press down, let it hang. But your thigh got to be extended, right? Oh wow! Okay. So your hip don't drop. Okay, that's right. Wow. Okay, hold for a while. Thirty seconds. Okay. In the worst case scenario, players who did not recover in time、uh, from their injuries will not make the cut for any competition. So、uh, that's a de- devastating news for the players. My day would usually start at 5 a.m. and get ready for school. My school will start at 8 p.m. and ends at 2:30 p.m. From 2:30 p.m., I will have a lunch and go for consultation with my teachers till 4:30 p.m. I face difficulty in where in this kind of questions like how can I know like this will be a negative and this will be a positive.、Uh, so this graph, right? You will cut your x-axis at two values, right?、Mm. What are the two places you cut? Because of my hectic training schedule, I'm really concerned about my grades. I feel the need to do consultation because of my poor math result, the grade that I get for my prelims. I really want to work hard and do my best. I'm also not good at this question. This one is your perimeter area. Yeah. Therefore, I went for consultation so that I hope that I improve my mathematics and be prepared for my N levels. National training takes up a lot of time outside、um, school, so in that sense, she has less time compared to her peers to actually、um, complete her work or do her revision. I feel the need to do well for my N level because 
most people say that end level is where like our career path is like sort of determines where I want to go. It's actually a struggle for me to juggle between both my soccer trainings and as well as N levels. I train five times a week. On the weekdays, I train three times for national training and two times for my club training. And all of my trainings are usually at night, 7 to 9 p.m. When there are days that I have lots and lots of homeworks and trainings, I feel really overwhelmed. I tend to break down because of stress. Get that, get that, come. Okay, very simple. Huh? Our style of play is still the same, but we do not want to always build up from the back today. When I joined the national team, I wasn't able to have a proper sleep schedule. About four to six hours of sleep. But after all, I learned that it's what I do that keeps me going and it's my passion. I think there was one time when she was away for a competition overseas and she missed quite a bit of school and she was falling behind uh, in her studies. So she actually took the time to consult her teachers and caught up with the classmates very quickly. Thankfully, my teachers are supportive and understanding with my trainings and they help me to extend the due dates and make me able to like cope with my learning as well. 20 seconds and go. Okay, and go. Indoor skydiving is a sport where I really have to be in a really good physical condition because it really requires a lot of stamina, a lot of balance, a lot of core strength. And that's why I train a lot at home. I do a lot of like strength training and I do a lot of flexibility for my freestyle. Three, two, one, and done. He knows the importance of the competition, so he pushes himself and I'm there just to make sure that you know, he is able to execute some of his workouts as best as possible. So enrollments are open now. 22, 23. Springtime is October 18th. Yeah, I'm just going to check what you okay. did before. Kai is going to be in high school soon. And in high school, you do a lot more like collaborative work. I mean, the same with the real world. And I wanted him to experience that as well, which is why we started to consider taking him away from the homeschool environment and maybe putting him in school so that he could actually start working with people. Stanford Online High School is um, a high school based in Stanford that gives kids like me opportunities to do really high level courses and dive deep into the things that we love learning. I've been trying to get in for two years. The first time I applied, uh, I got rejected and it was really devastating for me. I really felt like, how could they do this to me? This is so unfair. Um, but honestly, I had to learn from it and the next year I came back and I got um, a rather good application. Um, but because I procrastinated for so long, I only applied the day before the deadline. So even though I got waitlisted, obviously a spot didn't open up and I got rejected after that. So this year I'm uh, applying again and I'm quite hopeful that I'll get in. So right now my priorities are my school applications and also the competition, the Australian Open that's coming up soon. You have your suit? No. Maybe you want to get your suit? Maybe you need to fly with your suit? I'll be competing in four categories in Australian Open. Solo Speed, Freestyle Open, Two-Way Dynamic Open, and Four-Way Dynamic Open. I have hopes that we'll be able to win. I don't have a lot of free time. I don't have that much time to work on my school work or like homework. It's like a fine balance where I really have to make sure my main focus is training for competitions. I'm really grateful for all the opportunities that I've had being able to go to all these competitions across the world. And like, honestly, I don't really see it into it. I really want to do this as long as I can. So today we are here for my match against Haugang United. I'm feeling a bit excited yet nervous, but I'm mentally prepared for this game. My knee is getting better and I hope that I'll be ready for this game.
My parents have been very supportive and encouraging throughout my decision to become a football player. They have been making time for me and sacrificing their time by coming down for every match. As a team, together, push up, together, shift, drop, all together, okay? We got this, okay? Do this together. One, two, one! The first few minutes was um, not the best, I would say. When they scored first, I was actually demotivated, but my captain keep motivating us and we keep working hard to get our first goal. Initially, I feel that uh, Singapore women football is, uh, is still not up to the standard uh, among the other countries. So I try to tell her of the disadvantage, like career progression and anything. But as a parent, uh, of course, uh, I will support her, uh, even there's odds and difficulties. Lah. I think over the recent years, especially our last two outings in the SEA Games and uh, the AFF, there has been a growing interest in women's football, so the support is definitely growing and uh, definitely there's potential to grow even more. It's 4-1. My performance could have been better. It was decent. Few mistakes I made, but more to improve on. The Sainal achievement has really made myself and my family proud. Being selected uh, to play national team at this age, not many young girls are able to achieve that. Some might say that football is not a good career choice, but I disagree because I've seen my teammates achieving and getting a scholarship and make a career out of it. I think that it's possible and I'm inspired to do so.